The core of who we all are are small, innocent children who over time have been hurt, gain, uh, hurt, judged, guilted, wronged, ashamed, uh, made to feel not loved, made to feel not worthy, abused, heartbroken. I could go on and on, but through all of those traumas and all of those feelings that hinder us if we allow them to, through all of those things, we still have that innocence within us. We all still have that joyous, curious, happy, wise, brave, courageous, innocent child within us. It is not going anywhere. No matter what happens to us in our life, it will always be there because it's who we truly are. Over time, we start to feel less and less and less and less and less connected with that innocence within us. Um, because of outer circumstances that happen in our life and we start to perceive the world so differently we start to perceive the world from that hurt instead of that joyful innocence when we start to feel more connected with that inner child within us we start to feel more happier more grateful more positive more hopeful more faith more joyful which that is the biggest one joy in in this world in this day and age in this society this joy is one of the main things that so many people lack they lack joy in life they lack joy in everyday things they lack joy in the things that used to once make them so happy and just so joyful and so once we're connected and tapped into our inner child we are actually tapping into that joy in, in, in all things in our life not just in in the things that we like to do just think of a small little toddler how he's just so curious and he's or she is running around everywhere looking for things, just entertaining themselves, laughing with themselves, dancing with themselves. Just it, they are so filled with just this beautiful light and shine and happiness and joy. That gift that they have, we all have it within us too. <laughs> we do. We have it. We all we have it. I am an innocent child within. So are you. <laughs> okay, I know you're probably thinking, wow, you know, this sounds amazing. I want to tap more into my inner child, but how? How do I actually do it? What steps do I take to um, find that joy within myself? I, I think I got an answer for you. <laughs> Number one identify what it is that you used to love to do as a child or as like a teenager a young teen young adult um like from from like five to 18 whatever th that age frame like identify what it is that you used to love to do in this age we were way more connected and in tune with our innocence and we we outwardly expressed it our innocence in a creative way identifying our childhood passions gives you just a clear understanding of what it is that actually lights you up on the inside usually the things that we did as a as a child are the are our like passions and our gifts so um yeah for me <laughs> <laughs> For me as a child, I used to listen to music. I used to blast music in my bathroom and dance in front of the mirror for hours and hours and hours non-stop. I just had so much fun. It's what fueled me. It's what lit me up. It's what kept that inner child shining and oh so bright. Like, oh, that's what I used to do as a child. And now, today... I am very still in tune with that. I love to dance. I dance at least once a day. 
minimum. Like, if, if you know me on a personal level, you know that I am always dancing or how much I love it. But that is what's fueling me and that's what's keeping this, this innocence so bright and so just like shining. And for some, for some people, identifying what it is that used to light you up as a child is a little bit more challenging and that is okay. This is the fun part. <laughs> this is the fun part. This is where you get to rediscover. This is where you get to, to, to rediscover what it is that lights you up. And you rediscover and discover what it is that lights you up by trying new things. And the best way to discover what it is that lights you up from the inside out that brings you so much passion, so much joy, is you guys, you guys all know what I'm about to say. All of you, try to guess it. I'll give you 30 seconds. One, two, three. I'll just, I'll just say it. <laughs> it is playing. Oh my goodness, play. Play is so freaking important in life. Like a lot of us just work, 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 work. It is balance. You need to work and play. And so. Um, with play, it, it, it doesn't really, we have associated play with just such a, like playing is only for children and, and us adults don't like to associate ourselves with play. Like, what the heck? Playing is what keeps that child like rejuvenated. So yeah, playing is the answer. Play in whatever, whatever form that looks like to you. Dancing, singing, riding a bike, going to the forest, climbing a tree, going on a picnic, running around a forest naked with a speaker and music blasting in your hand, riding a boat, traveling, going to an amusement park, building things, um, doing things that make you laugh, making you friends, going for a walk, being in nature, whatever you prefer, do it. And do it often. Do it unapologetically. Do it without shame. Do it without fear. Do it without guilt. Even if you have fear, still freaking do it. <laughs> Be fully present and connected in that moment and just let all of your worries go and just play. Mm -hmm. Let's embrace and express our inner ch child together, guys. Like, we got this. It is all within us. Let's just play. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you some fun tools to create a positive experience in your life. Remember, you are a freaking creator. So get out there and and create well you are already creating just for be more aware of what you're creating be more present with what you're creating so i love you guys and i will catch you on the flip side Bye.